Bring your right leg into your chest. If you have a hard time lying down like this with your neck flat like that, you can roll your mat up a little bit and it'll make a little cushion, a little pillow. And if not, you can just be there with a nice flat back. Now we go up again. We're gonna just stretch. This is the pre-stretch of the hamstrings. So loosen it up. This is a little quick lift and a lower and a lift and a lower and keep going like that and lower and lift and lower two more times up and down. Last time, hold it there, flex your foot and push the heel into the ceiling. Circle the leg, foot around three times, two times, one time, all the way around, reverse your circle, one and two and three. Bring the knee into the chest with the knee bent and just hug onto that. Pull that to your right shoulder. Bring the leg right straight to your collarbone. Go into the midline and then put your leg down on the floor and stretch out your leg. Bring your left leg into your chest. Hold just above your, of your hip. Don't let the leg come too close in. We'll do that stretch later. Keeping the knee over the hip, go again up and down and up and down and keep going and down and up and down. Lisa, put your knee a little closer to your hip instead of by your shoulder, farther away from your head. Yeah, like that. This is our last one, hold it up, flex the foot, hold it there, circle three around, two, one, reversing one, two, and three. Bring the knee into the chest, stretch through the back of the hip, bring the leg outward towards your left shoulder, bring the leg inward towards midline, and then straighten the leg down on the mat. Straighten all the way. Let's lose the pillow if you have one or your folded up mat. We're going to start doing our pelvic curl bridge. Dig in your heels. Place your hands on top of your pelvis right by your hip line and let your head stay down on the mat. Take a breath for preparation. On the exhale, curl your tailbone to imprint the back and then peel the spine up and off the mat. Take a breath and exhale. Roll down through your spine, articulating your back. Let the back come back to neutral. Breath for prep again. Exhale, curl. Tailbone lifts. Pushing pubic bone to ceiling. This is your first couple of them. Don't worry about how high you get. Breathe. Exhale, roll through your spine. Come down, articulating your back. Let the pelvis land. Breath for preparation again. Exhale, curl the tailbone. Pushing pubic bone up to the ceiling. Hold that. Feel like your ribs are being held nice and tight into the midline. Breathe in. Exhale, roll through the spine, letting the chest fall down first, pelvis goes back to neutral. Breath for preparation again. Curl the tailbone to bring the pelvis closer to the ribs and peel the spine off the mat. Take your arms away over your head and lay them down behind you on the mat. Take a breath and on the exhale, roll down through your spine, articulating your back. And then bring one leg into your chest, then the other. Let's do some circles with the legs and then we'll do another four bridges in neutral spine. We open the legs slowly out to the side, pull them back to the center, bring them up the middle. Open them to the right, to the shoulders. Let the legs go away from you, close the legs, bring them back to the middle. We go again, two more, open. Pull forward, back up, one more time, open. Forward, back up, reverse, four times out. Back into midline, down midline, open circle around. Two more. Last one. And now bring your legs both as straight as you can make them to the ceiling. Support your legs with your hands and then bend your knees and place your feet back down on the mat, getting ready to do some more bridges, but this time in neutral spine. Place your thumb on your rib, your low ribs your fingers, your pinky finger, probably on your pelvic bones. Your hands are spanning the belly. We're gonna try to keep this, the hands cont not controlling, but perceiving whether we're doing a tuck of the tail or keeping ourselves neutral. We're gonna try to stay neutral. Take a breath for preparation. On the exhale, press on your feet and feel like you're hinging your hips up to the ceiling in a straight flat line from your shoulders. And now a straight flat line from shoulders to hip comes down. You do not articulate your back. You feel your hamstrings helping you control that movement. 
Breath for preparation. Exhale, press on the feet. Feel the weight of the hips as you go up. Hold there, take a breath. Exhale, hinge from the shoulders and come down. Articulating your back, not articulating. Sorry, not articulating. for preparation, not articulating. Exhale, press on the feet, lift up the pelvis, squeeze the glutes, pull in the belly. Don't change anything under your hands. Take a breath where your pinky fingers are, hinge there and lay down that pelvis. One more time, exhale, we go up, hold there, take a breath, and exhale, hinge and come on down, let the pelvis land, bring the right knee into the chest, left leg into the chest, and let's do just a little rocking side to side like a log. So when we roll side to side, we're rolling to the head, the shoulder, and the hip on one side, and then using the abs to get just a little bit over to the other side. Don't roll so far, you roll right over. Uh -huh. Just a little massage for your back. Okay, so now we're gonna keep the legs at tabletop. Bring the hands to the back of the head. Keep your legs nice and tight together. You can have a T position arm if this is too straining on your shoulders. The legs together, twist way over to the right. Don't let your left shoulder move. Feel the obliques on that side. Come back to center. Twist to the left as you take your breath in. And exhale, bring it back to center and to the right as you breathe in, and exhale, return to center. Twist to the left as you breathe in, and exhale to center. One more set, over to the right, breathe. Exhale back to center. To the left, breathe. Exhale to center. Let's do a little challenge today. Put your hands behind your knees. Try to straighten your legs and flex your foot, your feet rather, and let's just see if we can keep the legs as straight as possible. Point your toes. Again, hands to the back of the head. This time, you're trying to stay 90 degrees with your legs. If you have trouble, soften your knees like this. I just saw Ollie Kim walking through the screen. Twist the legs over to the right as you take a breath. And exhale, pull back to center. This is the beginning of your corkscrew movement. This is called the tick-tock. Twist over to the right as you breathe. Exhale, pull back to center, oblique warm up, twist to the left as you breathe. Exhale to center, one more set. Over to the right, breathe in. Don't let those legs weigh too heavily on your abdominals. One more to the left, take your breath. Exhale back, place one foot down on the mat and then the other down on the mat. Keep your hands threaded behind your head. Elbows a little to the ceiling, take a breath. Exhale, curl chest upward towards your knees. This is the chest lift. Stay there, take a breath. Exhale, lower yourself back to the floor. Breath for preparation again. Exhale, and we lift up. Shoulders down, breathe in. Exhale, lower yourself back. And again, breath for preparation. Exhale and curl. Stay there, take a breath. Exhale and lower. When you take your breath into the back, after you've come up, expand your ribs. Breathe here. Exhale, curl up. Now feel those back ribs expanding into the mat as you inhale. Exhale, lower yourself back. That's a very profound breath into your back ribs. Again, exhale, curl forward. Keep your shoulders down. Don't move, but breathe into the back. Exhale, lower down. If you glance at your navel, exhale, curl up. You can try to keep it flat right now as you inhale. And then exhale, it's a hard thing to do. You're not gonna get that much air. Breath for prep, exhale, curl up. Stay there, breathing in. Exhale, lower yourself back down. And one more time, exhale, curl up. Stay lifted, we're gonna stay here for a bit, breathing in. Twist your upper body towards the camera, towards your screen. Hold that position. Take your opposite hand, place the back of that hand on the outside of that thigh. Back of the hand, Lisa. Good, and now curl upward, nice Ava. And exhale, two. Try to get the right, the screen shoulder, the one that's closest to the camera, off the mat as well as the other side. Exhale, try to make contact with your leg, Ginny. And stay contacted, it's a pull up. Two more, pull upward. One more time, pull upward, hold. Take your hand to your head, cross through center, over towards your, away from the camera. Bring your hand to the outside of the thigh and exhale, we curl up one. And exhale, two. 
and exhale three, and exhale four. Keep going, and five, and exhale six, and exhale seven. Try to get both shoulders to come off. Two more times, nine, and 10 hands to the back of the hip. Stay lifted, hands to the back of the thighs. Lift up a little higher, send the arms forward, and then lower down and stretch out all the way. Oh, that was a lot of warm up. Phenomenals. Okay, so now let's take a little um, break on the abs. And then we're going to do the nasty five or some of the nasty five today. So let's grab behind the knees, roll up to seated position, and we're going to do a little bit of um, come and stay seated and watch me on this one. This is how um, we want to initiate rolling in a ball. So we're going to do this, it's called turtle rocking. So you're just kind of curling forward as if you're trying to get up, but you're not quite getting up. If you want to put your hands behind your knees to do this, try not to get all the way up. This is just using your abs to try to get up. Yep, you're staying pretty low. I want you to feel abs and abs and abs and abs and come all the way up. Oh, that's a lot, yeah? Yep. Okay, so let's take a moment and take a little bit of a stretch. So everyone, high hands, face forward. So you know how to modify those Abby things for you, Anne. Okay, let's take your arms straight up to the ceiling. Reach up really high. I'm gonna go sideways. You're gonna try to open the upper part of the chest. Place the hands behind you. And think about doing a bathing beauty pose with your shoulders down your sternum and your face up to the ceiling. And now we're gonna go into our abdominal work. Okay, so grab behind your knees, roll yourself down to seated position or to lying down position. And we're gonna get ready to do double leg stretch. So arms to ears, legs to diagonal, circle the arms forward, grab the knees. Inhale, arms and the legs away. Exhale, grab. Keep your head lifted. Exhale, grab. If it is hard to do, put your hand behind your head. Keep going and exhale. And inhale, reach. Don't lower your upper body. Lisa, keep your upper body up. Good, keep your upper body up, good. Two more times. One more. Rest, put your head down. Slowly turn your head right and left. Breathe. Should be getting pretty warm. Okay, now let's go into crisscross. We're gonna skip the single leg, go into crisscross, thread your fingers, place them behind your head, curl your chest up, extend your left leg. Cross your upper body up to your right side, one. Cross to the left, two. Cross for three, cross for four. Keep lifting, twisting from the shoulder girdle. Don't twist your head. Good, keep going, nine. 10, we go for 10 more, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Ooh, rest. Okay, so now everybody grab your yoga strap. Put your foot into, one, one foot into the strap, and hold on so that your leg can be really straight. Okay, now pull the straight leg in until you feel my hamstring won't let me pull it any hard, any farther. Now push your foot into the strap a little bit to engage your hamstring as if it's trying to escape you. And then pull it in again and notice if your low back is imprinting on the mat. If it's yep. imprinting, please try to get that low back off the mat. This is your hamstring, true hamstring stretch. Now take your other foot, put it in the belt, take the other one out. Lower the leg until your leg is perfectly straight. When it's perfectly straight, bring it back. So Lisa, straighten your knee a little bit more. Yep, and hold it perfectly straight as you bring it in. Push right. into the strap here while it's perfectly straight. Relax the push, bring the leg in just a little bit more. See if you can get more to vertical. Now we're gonna keep that leg up in the air, lose your yoga strap, 
place your hands behind your calf muscle and then pulse it in two times. One, two, scissor the legs and exhale, exhale, scissor and exhale, exhale, scissor and right, right, scissor and left, left. This is breathing in as you switch your legs. Keep going. If you need support for your head, you can do one hand on your leg, other hand on your head. Don't strain your neck. Good, keep going. Two more times, or rather sets. This is our last set. Good, and then we're done with that. Mm. Yeah. So very good abs. Yes, let's all give the abs a lot. Okay, so now we are gonna do a variation on the, on the um, single leg ridge the way we did the other day. We did a different version of it. We're gonna do a single leg ridge taking advantage of the hamstring length. So curl your pelvis up, pelvis up to the ceiling. Abs are in, ribs are held in, nice flat line. Raise up your right leg to tabletop, then straight up to the ceiling. Reach for the ceiling. This is what we did the last time with reps. Now, with the hip as high as it can be, lower the leg just past the other knee, and then flex the foot, kick it up. Lower the leg down, just past the knee without losing the height of the free side hip. We lower the leg, exhale, flex, kick it. And lower the leg again, and exhale, flex, kick. One more, we'll do five, flex, kick. Lower the leg, bend the knee, place the foot down, and come down through your spine. Take a breath. Exhale, curl up. Reach your right, left leg to tabletop. Then straighten to the ceiling. Lift it to the ceiling. And then lower the leg just past the other knee. Flex, kick it. And lower the leg just past. And flex, kick. And lower the leg. And flex, kick and lower the leg, and flex, keep it straight. Don't arch your back. This is our last one. Lower the leg, bend the knee, place the foot down, and come on down through your spine. Bring your knees into your chest, and let's grab behind and roll up. Come and sit up. We're gonna do oh. a little spine stretch. So, Sometimes I do the spine stretch where the hands are on the legs and then we do that, that articulating back. We wave the spine a little worker. Today we're just going to think about peeling the spine off a vertical line. So if I had a pole or a vertical line and I try to keep this part, the lowest part of my spine, from moving, I'm going to fall forward from that vertical line. So imagine that you have a vertical line behind your back, a wall, or a board, or a pole. Okay, take your arms out like this. Take a breath. The arms are gonna go straight forward. Exhale, drop your head as if it's gonna go looking at the floor, and then feel like that spine is coming off that vertical line. And as it does that, the arms are going forward towards the screen. Your belly is pulled back because it's resisting. It's as if there was someone grabbing your waist and pulling it back while your arms and chest are going forward. Now go with that pulling back. Exhale, draw the waist in. Lift up each vertebra. Place them one on top of the other. Arms stay right out your shoulders. Bev, don't have your arms be up so high. Have them just straight out your shoulders. And we breathe. That's better. Exhale. Round out, head drops between the arms, go forward, draw in your navel, hold that waist back, feel like your spine's getting longer here. Take a breath and exhale, travel back up. We breathe again for prep. Exhale and we go. Take a breath and exhale, we rise back up. One more time. Exhale, we go. Stretch out. Take a breath. Exhale, roll back up. 
Good. Okay, now let's take the arms behind. Bring your legs together. You don't really need a mat uh, for your legs on this one. We're just gonna take advantage of the sitting posture and do a one lift as if we're doing back. This is called back support. So it's just a lift of the pelvis, squeezing the butt, looking towards the ceiling, not directly up at it to straighten your neck. Just letting your eyes go in the direction that your head is taking them. And we go again. Exhale, keep your head right on top of your neck and just lift up your pelvis, anchor your shoulders, draw in your navel, lower yourself back. That looks lovely, everyone. And we go again. Exhale, and we go. No, no, I haven't heard that. Good. Okay, so it just gives us a little break from there. Now I want to do some side work. So let's go to just lying on your, does everyone lie on the right side? Yep. Take, a, take a sip of water. Okay. We're going to do a side plank. We're going to keep the knees bent. We're going to be on the outside of the knee. We're going to start out with the elbow. So let's everybody collapse downward as if you are watching TV and you're 10 years old and you don't really care. And we're going to go lifting up out of that waist. Inhale, rise up. Push your pelvis forward. Pelvis is forward. Nice flat line. And now hinge at the hip as you come down and the shoulder. So right here, when we're lying down ready to go, I have a crease in my hip here. When I come up, this crease pushes forward and I get a nice flat line. We're going to do that on an inhale. Then we're going to go to our feet and hand. Inhale, rise up, push the pelvis forward. Feel the solidity of your underneath shoulder, your right shoulder. Good afternoon, it works. And then come back down. One more time and we go. Lift up. Breathe and lower back down. Okay, so now we're gonna stack or not stack our feet. We're gonna have your left foot in front, your right foot behind. Your hand is gonna feel, figure out whether it's in the right position to get up into a side plank. The same goes, the inhale rises us up, but we're gonna settle the shoulder in first. So let everybody slump into the shoulder and then pull up out of the shoulder. You can also do this on your elbow if it's too much. And we go, inhaling, rise. Head in line with spine, beautiful. And now bend at your knees and come on down. Ooh. How we do it, okay? Yeah. And we go again, inhale, rise. Good, and then come back down. Last one, next time we're gonna take this one up a notch. You're gonna turn it into a twist next class. And we go up. Nice straight knees, straight, strong straight knees. And then come back down. Don't forget your legs are what help you get a straight line. Let's go to the other side now. Do that with the knee and the elbow to warm up the obliques. Get used to bearing weight through your shoulder. If you feel like your shoulder cannot take the full Hand on the mat, please. You may do this with a straight leg and an elbow. Right, uh, so we have our knee bend first. Let's everyone slump to figure out what happens with your shoulder when you do that. In, let's rise up out of the slump and breathe in, pushing the pelvis forward. And then bend and come back. Two more times. So we inhale, rise up, push the pelvis forward. And then come back down. And we go again, inhale, rise up, and come back down. Now, put your right foot in front, your left foot behind, just making what I call hieroglyphic feet, which means your feet are just like this, toe and heel are towards each other like that, a nice flat line. Let's do that with the feet. Put your left hand on the floor, and everyone slump. Notice that you're in the same piped position in your hip here. So the pelvis has to go forward as you straighten your knees. We go, come out of the slump, inhale, rise up. Straight legs, look straight forward. Bend your knees to come out. 
Two more, nice and slow on the way down. Don't collapse. Inhale, rise up. Good. And then bend the knees and come back down again. Last one. Inhale, rise up. Pelvis forward, nice ab work here. And then bend and come back down. Now we're gonna take a little side leg work. We're gonna stay now on your, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's gonna look different on all of you, but let's everyone stay on your right side. We're gonna work on left leg. We're gonna start up on the elbow. This is just a little bit different glute work. It's like normal classical Pilates leg work. So we're up on the elbow. What you can't see here because I don't have good lighting. Maybe I can do it on the other side. So stay where you are for a moment. Let's see if you can see this here uh, a little bit better. So um, when I am on my elbow and getting ready to do my legs to the front and the back, I'm also not collapsing like this with, yeah. with, and wobbling my body back and forth. I mean, a nice held position, just like you did with those obliques. So, I'm gonna stay on this side because yeah. I'm matching you on my screen now. And you guys are all on the right hip, correct? Yes. Everybody on the right hip? Yes. Yes? Okay, so my hand is on the floor for balance. Get your right waist up. Bring your left leg just to hip height. Put your hand on the floor for balance. And we're gonna kick with a flex foot forward with two pulses, one, two. And then point as the foot goes to the back. Try not to arch the back here. Forward kicking, breathing in. Exhale, pull in your belly. Prevent the arch from happening in your back. Breathe in, go forward. Able to lift your waist just a little bit higher on that side. From here. And we go, yes. And we go again, kicking forward, one, two. Exhale, pull it to the back. That waist is going to want to collapse because now you're focusing on your leg. But everything has to hold steady or the leg doesn't have power to do what it can do. We go again, forward kick, and exhale back. Three more forward kick, exhale back. Two more forward kick, exhale back. Keep a flex foot in the front and a point in the back. And now let's lower ourselves down on the arm. Bring that leg forward. Grand round de jambe up and around. Bring it to the back. Bring it forward, up and around and to the back, and bring it forward, up and around to the back, and bring it forward again, up and around to the back, bring them joining, reversing the circle back, circle up and around to the front, and back, circle it up and around to the front. Try not to wobble your body, use your left hand on the mat to try to help you stabilize your torso, one more. And then we bring the legs together. Bring both legs off, off the mat. We're gonna turn the legs out from the hips. And I want you to think about beating your inner thighs together. Your heels might touch, but your inner thighs are the workers. Pulse, pulse, bottom and top are moving. Not just the top coming to the bottom. Keep beating, 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 and then rest. Woo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was it. Other side, please. So we did oh. forward, back, rond de jambe, and beats, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we're up on that elbow, remember? Make sure you're not gonna kick anything. Make sure you're not slumped on that shoulder. It's, this is a good workout for your shoulder and your obliques and your glutes. So let's take advantage of the whole thing. Legs are out on a diagonal in the front a little bit. Hold that waist up on the left side. And then we can lift the left foot or the right foot off a little bit, just a little bit. And we kick forward with a flex foot, one, two. Exhale to the back. Breathe in and exhale back. So you can do a little sniff, sniff and exhale and breathe in and exhale. Try to keep your head in line with your neck and your spine. Don't let your head hang or don't let your head try to erect itself and point to the back, three more flex kick, and point, kick. Lisa, bring your waist up just a little bit more, and who's there over in the corner, and back, and bring the leg 
What did we do together? Oh, round de jambe. So we go floor, well, we go down on the side. So let's go all the way down. Keep your other, your left leg towards the front of the mat in the front so it's diagonal. Let's go forward with the leg. Up and around. Bring it to the back. Bring it forward. Up and around. Anybody remember how many we did of these? No. No. Six. Six. Four or five? I don't think we did 10. No. This is five. Let's count it there. That's what we did. Let's go reversing because these are bigger movements. And for me, precision and the concentration on keeping your core steady while the leg tries to escape your hip. And then back to join the other legs. Lift both legs off your mat. Turn the legs out from the hip. Remember you're beating your inner thighs together and let's go beat, beat, beat. The bottom leg is coming up to the top leg. Yes, beat, beat. Try not to crash your ankles together or your heels together. Just think of those inner thighs. Keep going. And one more set. Good and rest. Okay, so now, till she sort of feels something, let's give it a little bit more work. We're gonna do one more set of something on this side and then we're gonna roll over to the other. Let's bring that, right, that left leg, right leg forward. Hold your hip line steady. Let's just do drops to the floor. Down and up, two and lift, three and lift, and four and lift, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Keep going. Two, three, try not to move your torso at all. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Ooh la la, that's a nice ending of the tush. Let's take the stretch here and we'll finish up the other leg. It's a little out of sequence. That's okay, this one needs a stretch now. Mm. Let's go figure four. Remember in a figure four stretch, you wanna keep the space at your low back, off the mat, so you keep your low back arch, you're in neutral spine. Let your neck be flattened as much as possible to the floor. This is where you might wanna have your little pillow under your head for comfort. And then you may pull the leg closer in towards you and then roll towards your left side a little bit to stretch out that leg. You guys should be stretching your right one. Yep. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the other side and do that last dropping exercise of the glutes and then we'll do a stretch on that side. So we're lying down on that. Your right leg is in front to hold steady for balance. Your left hand is in your hip line. Your left leg is ready to drop. You're in a neutral spine in your back and let's go to the floor for 20. Down and up, two and lift, three and lift and four. Five and seven and nine and one, two, three, four and five. Keep going. Six, almost home. Seven, no movement anywhere, just the glute and ten and then and come on out of there. All right, rolling over to your back, crossing. Left over right, reach forward and grab onto the back of your thigh, your right one. Remember, neutral spine back, long neck, cushion for your, so sometimes it's really nice to have a yoga mat big enough so you can just add a little cushion on one side for your head. Okay, roll a tiny bit to your right to free up some fibers in your left hip for more stretch. You can pull a little bit more on that right leg if you want to. Okay, since we've been doing a lot of work to the side here, we're gonna do a <clears throat> side lift into teaser. Anne, are you still with us or did you go? You're still there, hi Anne. Um, I'm gonna do a teaser, okay? So you can see me do the teaser. I'm gonna go from the side, do whichever version of teaser you wanna do for your abs, it's just another ab exercise. Okay, so everybody line up at the very the front edge of your mats. On your, let's go on your uh, left side. 
No, uh -oh. put it on your right side because it's gonna make me crazy right to left. Go on your right <laughs> sides, please. Okay, so it's as if you're gonna fall off the front of your mat onto your carpet. We need the back of the mat for our tush. So you're gonna use your right hand to press on the floor and lift your legs and get into this position here. So you're in a halfway gotten up position. You're not quite ready yet. Is your chest lifted enough that it can go the rest of the way? Hold on to your legs. Yes, very nice. Very nice. Whoops, who is that there? James, can you get yourself up? Your chest has to come up, sweetie. Yeah. Okay, so what happened is your legs outweighed your, your chest. Your legs are too long for your chest. You got to get your chest up a little higher. Roll where you came from, back where you came from. Roll to your right side. Release your right hand, Lisa, and roll to it. Onto your side, that's good. Okay, and this time we did it. Everybody did beautifully on that. James, you just gotta get up a little bit higher in your chest so that the legs don't win this seesaw battle. Lift up to that halfway point, legs up. Okay, so you've got legs are gonna try to meet your chest, bend your knees now and have your hands be free. Yes, now pull your shoulders back and down, Beth, and then turn your upper body back where it came from, reaching your right hand to the floor, roll through your side and come down cool. very slowly with control. That was lovely. That was hard. It's very hard. <laughs> Only one more. So I like to put my hand on my leg, my left leg, as if I'm trying to reach for my knee or my foot. And that kind of gets me up. That reaching of the leg gets me where I want to go. Bend knees okay here. Straight if you can do it. Turn back where you came from and roll back down. Okay, other side. Three, only three. Only. Only. <laughs> so the first one we did, we grabbed onto the back of the knees, right? We just came up from that halfway point to the back of the knees. So front of the mat, please. On your left side, right hand is on the front side of your right leg. So reach for your feet, press on your hand, lift your legs to that halfway point. And then when you roll to your tush, grab the back of your knees. Everybody here? Pretty good, that's better, James. Go back where you came from. Putting your hand to the floor, straightening out your legs and your hips. So when you're in your final position, Bev, raise your chest a little bit, push your chest a little forward. Don't okay. have it rounded back at the very end shape, okay? Okay. So again, this time you're gonna go without hands on the legs, to a bent knee position, arms are parallel to your thighs. Stretch your hand to your feet, roll up, bend your knees. You're in your parallel teaser arm position. Turn back where you came from and roll through your side very slowly. This time, try to go as straight a leg as you can make. I don't care if it straightens, but if you've got that, let me have it and we go. Up, good for teaser. And then we go back where we came from and roll back down. Okay, that was really good. Oh. Let's take a little bit of upper back extension and then we'll do some pretty good hamstring stretches and neck stretches. And your neck is bugging? Yeah? Okay, we'll get, you, we'll get a little neck stretch. So let's work the back of the neck, everybody. So press, put your arms out to goal post. So when I'm in goal post position, I am really 90 degrees. My hands aren't in here, my hands aren't out there, my elbows aren't down or up too high. It's like this. Let's go on the mat with your forehead down. Press on your forearms and your hands. Sorry, Push. I'm trouble hearing you. Oh, Siri, why don't you just be quiet? <laughs> Siri just couldn't hear me. Alexa. Amazing. Incredible. Nosy, nosy person. Okay, push your nose along the mat, press on your hands, 
and you look forward as if you're a little baby just lifting his head for the first time. And then roll down and then relax. Let everything relax on the mat. Take a breath, pull in your belly on your exhale, press on your hands, push your nose along the floor to lift up your chest. And then if you can, try to strain your elbows a little bit more while you lift your back just a little. Draw your belly in very deeply. Roll down. If you have a low back issue, just think of the upper back coming up. Do not go into your low back. I have a low back issue, so I'm going to come up and make my arms now not goalpost. My hands are going farther forward. That means when I straighten my arms, I have more room in my back. Press on my forearms, lift up the head, pressing up to a straighter elbow. Abs are working. Lower down your elbows first, and then put your head back down. One more time, exhale. Press on the forearm and the hand, push your nose forward, draw your belly in. Now try to straighten your elbows a little bit more. Lift up a little bit higher. Don't let your head drop. Keep your head in line up with your spine and then pull your elbows down to the floor and widen them as you put your head down. Last one, press on the forearms, draw in the belly, push your nose along the mat until you're looking forward and then straighten out your elbows a little bit but draw your belly in really deeply and then come down elbows through your spine, through your ribs, and now sit back into child's pose position. Mm. Now let's go, not quite child's pose. Let's take the happy puppy with the tush in the air, and let's take a little bit of stretch through. So everybody put your arm forward to face, to, so the arm is reaching for the screen underneath your chest. You're twisting your spine, try to have equal weight on both feet, or knees rather, and just breathe into your back, trying to open up those tight back ribs. And now come on out of there, place your hand in front, take your other arm and stretch it through, away from the screen, keeping the head on the floor, the tailbone in the air, equal weight on both knees. And breathe, expanding your back ribs. And now take your hand out. And let's do a, we're going to curl the toes under. And we're going to do a little, um, how do I want to do this? I'm going to be up here. Okay, so we're going to be on hands and toes. I have lifted my knees off the floor. I am not kneeling. And now I'm going to take one knee off the one leg off the floor, bring the knee to my chest and stretch out. And two, and stretch. And three, I'm still hovering off the floor with the other knee. Nothing's moving, just the leg and the hip. And six, or five, seven, and eight, yeah. nine. Is that ten? Okay, yeah. toe on, knees low, other leg into the chest, out. Two. Three, four, five, six, swing it, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toes on, knees hover, knees lift, knees hover and lift and hover. Don't change your back, your back is neutral. And lift, six more, down and up and two and lift and three, and four, and five, Puppy. and six, and we are now done with that. Mm. Thank, thank wow. God. How are we doing? Uh, Hi, doggy. Oh. There's a doggy on the screen. Oh, oh getting hot yeah. now. Yeah. All right, so we need to take some stretches. We're gonna take a nice stretch, those of you who have done Pilates equipment know the one arm roll down stretch on the, on the uh, wall tower when you're holding the bar. We're, gonna, we're going to accomplish this stretch slightly differently. So I will cue you through this. You will see me, but you may not see much because I'm going to be on my 
back. So I'm going to take my feet both over towards the camera, towards the screen. That's going to take a little, bring a little stretch through my hip, other opposite hip. Then I'm going to bring the opposite arm up and over my head towards that same side, towards the camera, but lying down on the floor. So I'm doing a side stretch without that bar. So everybody getting this? Yeah. Okay, so just take the shape, Kim, of the one arm roll down stretch without the bar. Bring your arm and your head back in line with your own self, your feet back square to the center of your mat. Bring your feet to the edge of the mat away from the camera, and then take your, that arm over your head to the side away from the camera and stretch the waist, the rib cage, the armpit, the hip. Keep yourself flat on the floor. Do not roll over towards that back side. It's easy to roll with the outstretched arm towards the other arm, but keep yourself with both shoulders on the mat. Bring your arm back to square and your legs back to square. We're going to do one more each side. Put your feet to the side, the edge of the mat towards the camera. Bring your chest open towards the camera. Keep that other opposite arm reaching for the camera. Feel the stretch on that side of the body. Breathe into that, that expanded side to try to expand the ribs even more. And then swing back the legs and swing back the body. Bring the feet over to the left, to the other side, away from the camera. And then the arm also goes to that side, away from the camera. Feel the stretch on that side body and breathe into that side. Let's give you a nice little oblique stretch. We use our obliques a lot today with our crisscrosses and, and the side work and then the side oblique teaser. Those are all oblique focus exercises. Your abs have gotten a good workout today. Come back to the straight and parallel. And now we're going to take some hamstring stretch. We're going to use, well, let's do quad first and then hamstring. So everybody lie in your stomach. Some of you can reach back and grab your ankle. As you well know, I cannot. So I'm going to put my foot into my yoga strap and I'm going to lie on my stomach with my pubic bone driving into the floor. Be comfortable with your head placement. You can turn your head if you wish, or just let your head be on your hand, your forehead on your hand. Keep your knee on the mat, your hip bone right here on the mat. Don't let anything go underneath that. And just pull and stretch your quad. And now switch, please, to the other side. Sadie, come here, baby. It's okay. Hi, Sadie. Don't be baby. Okay. Again, cubic bone is drilled into the Hello, floor. Baby. Hello, baby. Oh. We'll pull to bottom. Try to keep the legs together. Not up to the side. Oh. 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 No, Tom. Okay. Alrighty, now we gotta do the hamstrings. And then next. Can you mute? Whoever's got the dog, can you mute your screen? Thank you. Okay. So bring your right leg into your chest. Grab through the leg towards your chest. Try to straighten the leg up and back. Can she mute, please? Can't hear you. Shall I mute everybody? Uh, at least people that are really loud. Who's got the doggy? Can't... Yeah. Who has the doggy? Oh, that's me, Lane. Who? Beverly. Oh, Beverly. yeah. Is he gone? <laughs> She's gone. Yeah. Okay, good. That's fine. Okay, we're just trying to straighten the knee without taking the thigh off the chest. This is a locked in position. You are not going to straighten the leg. 
you're going to work towards stretching the mid fibers of your hamstring, the ones right in the middle. So Ginny, hold that thigh. No, no, put it on your foot. Put your thigh into your chest. Grab behind your knee. Other leg straight. Now hold this like as straight as you can do it. And now flex your foot. And then as you point your foot, try to straighten your leg a little more. And then flex your foot again. And as you point, try to straighten. One more time, flex the foot. Point, try to straighten. And now once again, those three circles, but now we're warmer. We have lots of movement in our fascia. We can get, take advantage of that for this ankle movement. Three circles the other way around. Two and three. And now you may take your yoga strap and put it on your foot. So, Ginny, is that an elastic or is it a rigid band? Elastic. That's all I have. In the future, to get one that doesn't that has no elasticity, just a regular yoga strap, because this exercise, the the uh, stretching of it won't be an advantage for you. Okay, so uh -huh. you're gonna pull the leg in until you feel your hamstring. This is with a foot that's flexed, so this is a lot of stretch. When you come to the limit, look at your toe against the ceiling and the landscape on the ceiling. Push your foot into the strap, but don't let the toe move off that landscape. Keep facing your foot. Don't look in the screen. This is not, there's nothing to see here. Now mm -hmm. we, we exhale. And we relax the leg and pull it in a couple more inches. Right there, it's a new place on the ceiling. Push into the strap here to engage your hamstring on that leg. And then relax and pull it in. And one more of those, push into the strap. You should get more stretch here. The leg is straight. And then pull it in. Now take the strap in the opposite hand. Bring your same side arm out to the side. Bring the leg across the body for the excruciating IT band stretch. Ooh, yep. Breathe in. Everybody can howl here. Exhale. Oh. Breathe in and exhale. Every time you big, do a big exhale, the leg stretches a little bit more. Very nice. One more of those. Now bring the leg back to square. Change hands on the strap. Other arm out to the side, rotate the leg externally and pull the leg upward towards the shoulder like we're doing those big circles or a high vagus or chorus line kick. And now we're gonna take that foot out of there and maybe that leg will work. It seems really stretched out. Put your other fo foot into the strap and bring that leg to straight. Pulling that leg as close into you without bending the knee until you feel your hamstring stretching. At this point, push into the strap, breathing in, and then on your exhale, pull the leg a little closer to your face, looking where the toe is on the ceiling. Do not move it from that point as you push into the strap. Taking a breath in, exhale, pull it in. Two, one more time, push into the strap. And exhale, pull it in. That was your last one. <clears throat> Opposite hand takes the strap. Same arm as leg goes out to the side. Pull the leg slowly across the body to feel the outer fibers of the IT band and hips stretching. Take a breath and exhale. It should hurt. Ow. Breathe. And exhale. Another breath and exhale. And last breath and exhale. And then switch hands. Arm out to the side, turn the leg in the hip socket outward, and then pull the leg upward towards your shoulder to stretch your inner thigh a little bit. But mostly this is just range of motion on your hip. We'll do a better inner thigh stretch in a moment. Take the strap off your legs. Bring your legs into a uh, frog position with your hands either on your ankles or your shins or on the inner thighs. Open your feet out to the side, press your hands on your inner thighs and flex your feet with your legs straight. Legs straight. Get your inner thigh here. Breathe in, press on those legs, flex those feet. One more breath in, exhale, good. Okay, place your feet down on the mat. We just have a little bit more to do, we're gonna do um, uh, what do you call it? Crazy legs. So if those of you who don't know crazy legs, your feet are as wide as the edges of your mat or your knees are bent. So go wide with your feet. 
You're gonna have one knee, try to skin the inside of the opposite shin while the opposite shin doesn't move. And now bring that leg back to its neutral, ready to go position. Bring the other leg to the opposite shin, taking the hip with it, and then bring it back. And we go again. First, the leg goes in the socket, twisting over, and then back in, and go to the other side. Don't, th don't do them two together, Ginny. Do one leg towards the inside of the opposite shin, and then the other leg to the inside of the opposite shin. Right, so we have, we're basically doing, this is called crazy legs. You're doing internal rotation for health of your hips. We did all that external rotation. This should be really good hip work today. Good. Yeah, hip and abs today. That was what was mostly today. All right, let's grab behind the knees or come up to a seated position. Now sit on your bolster. We're gonna do another, we started a little bit late, so I'd like to do a little bit of neck stretching for you. So again, I never like to sit. I know there must be a reason in yoga why people sit with cross legs because I don't know what it does with the organs or whatever, but what I feel is that it twists your pelvis. So I'd like to be in a symmetrical position with your feet. Be comfortable if you need bolsters underneath your thighs to support your leg sets. Use those for next time, have them around. Okay, as you face your camera, take your left hand to the outside of the right ear or over the top of the head towards the ear and just let your head drop in that position using a little bit of extra weight with your hand on the side of the head to put a little more stretch into your scalings. And now bring your head back to right. Take your right hand over the top of the head to the outside of the left ear and then we're going to allow that left shoulder to drop as we bend our neck from the shoulder through to the ear. And now we come back up. We're going to take your left hand again, diagonal this time, to the back right corner of your head. Put your other hand on your chin and push your chin into your neck as you try to stretch from the back of the head on the right side to the right shoulder. Let the right arm drop down. This is an upper trapezius. Very nice look, Anne. Good, James. Come back up. And then we go to the other side. So diagonal to the left-hand corner of your head if there is such a thing. And then we're gonna tuck the chin in and make sure we're isolating the very top most Drop to feel more stretch on that. Yourself into a couple of shoulder rolls. up to the ears, more up and down in the back pockets. And this time when you go up into the back pockets, pull your ribs in the feeling of connection of your shoulders pulling down, your ribs held in the front. This is connecting to your core. And you're gonna turn your head right and left to just free up the neck a little bit. Try to keep your head like a, right up on top of the neck as if it's a spindle and you just have this nice ball on the top of the spindle. Notice if there's any strain, take care of yourselves. And thank you for coming to my class.